What's up, everybody? Tinker and Wild Man again. Today hey, we're. Hey, everybody. Uh, How's it going? Today we're. Uh, drink Pepsi. Drink Pepsi. You heard it here first. Uh, today, what we're doing is I'll take you over here real quick. Wild Man's working on this uh, master cylinder. Got the Dremel hooked up, and we're just taking this surface rust off of it, making it look pretty. The next thing we're going to be doing. Uh, let me get under here. Brake lines. Oh, where are they at? Brake lines. Right there. So here's the one that came off it. It's all rounded. Old, disgusting, rounded, uh, stripped off uh, fitting there. And this, it's got nice brand new fitting on there. Going to both sides, up into the T-junction right there. So, that's only one side down. Whew, I'm a little dirty from being under there, <laughs> just, a, just a little bit. We're gonna be documenting the process of cleaning that up as well as doing the other side's brake lines. Golly, man, I touch my face too much. I'm gonna get coronavirus. Um, we're gonna be doing the other side as well, kind of documenting how we're bending it, how we're doing our uh, measurements and all that fun stuff. So let me get down to Tinker's level. <laughs> That was what you were doing. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Look at this, man. I got so much dirt on my face. Um, but yeah, we're going to be documenting that process for you. So uh, stay tuned for that. All right. So we've got a brand new non-bent brake line that we need to get on the other side of this T going all the way over across the axle and into that hole right there. What we're gonna have to do is take our little brake line bender and I'll kind of set this up there and then kind of bend it where it needs to go. Kind of like I did this one to get it where it needs to go. It's not perfect, but your bender. it looks, yep, there's our pipe bender and uh, it's not perfect, but it looks a lot better than the last one I do say. And I want to pat myself on the back for that routing and getting it to fit up because I didn't actually think that was going to work. Not going to lie to you. But we're going to do sort of the same process on this one to get it bent and uh, kind of use the other old brake line that's sitting over there. You can't really see it as a reference for this as to how to get it across the differential and over the axle. All right, so I've got about the rough shape. It's still just a little bit long, but with more of an angle here and there as well as possibly somewhere in here that can be fixed i wanted this arc to be as close as i could possibly get as well as where it curves off here as as uh, close as i could possibly get it and then this angle at the very end where it comes up needs to be very similar um, because that's where it goes into the brake drum so i'm gonna try lining it up kind of see where i'm at and we will go from there all right so after some cursing and swearing got both sides of this brake line on she's a little bit higher than the last one but shouldn't be an issue because it goes in the same spot roughly as the last one so both of the new brake lines are on oh boy if i can get up what we're doing next is we're trying to clean this up as best we can stinking dremel keeps dying so it's taking a little bit longer than we wanted but everything's getting nice and shiny on the old master cylinder and then we're going to throw it back on the power booster clean these uh fittings on these brake lines up on the uh the proportioning valve so we're gonna take the old master cylinder over there, stick it on the old brake booster with these two nuts, connect the proportioning valve up to that, and she should be good to go. As far as connections go, then we'll have to bleed it, and then we'll go through the process of bleeding the brakes. So the Dremel keeps dying, we got that thing plugged up. So what we're doing is we strap the old wire wheel to a freaking drill. And she's working there. So we've uh, got all the rust off and we started painting. For the cap, we use this metallic gold Valspar. And for this and a prime of that, we used engine enamel, high heat, because this is not this is going to be in the engine bay. So we want some sort of heat protection. So Dupli-Color engine enamel ceramic, high heat, dyno tested. I'm pretty sure that's meant to be sprayed straight on the engine block, but it'll do just fine for the master cylinder. And like I said, with this one, we sprayed it down 
kind of like a, a, a an initial coat with this the high heat enamel to give it a uh, layer to spray on and then sat there and did a uh, job with a uh, nice golden and shiny metallic color that way the old camera looks nice so while we're waiting for the paint to dry we're cleaning up the fittings that are going to connect into the uh, master cylinder that way the threads aren't uh, covered in rust and grime and dirt and they'll be ready and they'll thread right in real nice which is what we want we wanted to go in the first time we wanted to go in easy gosh i'm Here dirty we are again i am very dirty holy you cow you are dirty <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even realize see i've been working he's uh, been playing yeah I've, I've been playing in the mud i haven't done anything today um, <laughs> so brake lines are on the camaro he's out of my uh, level now. they all see me now oh yeah they can okay nice the cap and master cylinder are painted yeah. uh fittings cleaned up and uh we're gonna go prepare for tomorrow and or the part two for this where we put the master cylinder on and uh show you guys how to bleed brakes so that'll be fun and we might paint the caliber god i am so dirty holy cow i went out in public like this tinker do you know what you call this uh no as a brake line bender that's right. Or that's what you use today. Small pipe bender, if you yeah. if you will. Yeah. <laughs> they make it so it doesn't kink the lines. It's great. It's a great thing because if you kink your lines, you're done. You got to buy a whole new brake line. It's fantastic. Um, but yeah, I, I, we will uh, see you guys tomorrow, and uh, we might throw in a surprise caliper painting because we bought that bright caliper paint a while back and never used it yet. Um. <laughs> But yeah, thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon if you want to know when the next videos are coming. Um, we got some cool shirts that we might be wearing tomorrow to start the video, which is kind of cool. So yeah, see y'all tomorrow.